So, I want to make a spear. Doesn't everyone want to make a spear? They're so cool. So, to make one, I got this hoe replacement handle. And for the anatomy of like a spearhead. It's gonna be pretty similar to the arrowheads that I made before. It will take me a little bit longer to make a spearhead, but it's a very similar concept. There's going to be a socket end on it that'll like goes around the piece of wood and then there'll obviously be a blade coming out for the uh, pointy bit. I'm forging the head out of this piece of steel. It's some type of steel, but my first step is going to be cutting off this weird metal socket thing that's going down the end of, on that, I don't want that. I'm gonna cut that off. There's some crisp claps, oh my god. Okay, so only the tip needs to be hard, but I am going to heat up the entire blade. You'll see why. Quench, this is hardening the tip of the blade, and honestly, I'm surprised the oil didn't catch on fire. Okay, so that's hardening, and now, well, that's hardened. Now we need temper it. I'm scratching the tip, and we know it's tempered, and we know it's hot enough. When we can see the metal turn a, uh, like a wheat type of color. So I'm waiting. I can see the, uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna see this at all. I can see the uh, yellow kind of going closer. It's not in focus. Yeah, I, I don't know if you're gonna make this out. Yellow is slowly traveling to the tip. Just waiting until the tip gets nice and yellow. Waiting a little bit longer. So yeah, the residual heat from the rest of the piece is traveling to the tip and tempering the tip, heating it up to just around 400 degrees, and now I can cool it back down again, so it's not gonna over temper. And I can cool down the whole thing. We can work on the handle now, so I just need to slim this end down a little bit so this fits on top. So I'm just gonna do a very shallow taper going down this whole thing, and after that, we can get rid of this polyurethane coating that's all over it. I, that's gross, I don't want that. I think that's enough. I don't think that was enough. <laughs> no, it needs to be way hotter. Yeah, this needs to be way hotter to remove enough material by burning it. So I think I'll use the forge. This better be hot enough. Get in there quick, get in the vise, get in the vise and turn on the fan and shove this in quickly. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect, look at that. I just dipped in the water, that's why it's steaming. Is it still smoking? I don't think so. Yeah, the wood goes to just about right there, just at the end of the socket, which is great. So I drilled a hole to hold the head onto the shaft and this rivet isn't like, 
completely necessary, definitely isn't necessary, but I want to make sure it won't like slowly come loose over time. This should help with that. And also this brass rivet is just going to look really cool. Well, it would if it, if it didn't do that. I ran into this problem before. I know I struggled with brass like this before. I don't know if I included it. Oh, that's kind of dumb. What video was that? Oh yeah, the scissors, the scissors. I wanted to do this exact same thing and it didn't work. Oh, wow, that's ugly. But yeah, I'm not taking that out. It's fine. It's riveted enough where it will stay in place. Yeah, that's what I should have done on this side. That looks way better. All right, so this spear came out pretty cool and it works. Ain't that kind of fun. Anyway, that's it, bye.